<laughs> That's the only reason I pro- How many times do I have to tell you? I never said that, but you weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing. I, I tried! But your efforts were useless. What? I... Well, the opening act is nearly finished. Oh. Uh, you don't... Or better yet, let's go with Genocide Jill! What the fuck is this? Toko. It's not Toko. That's a loser name. And what happened is a textbook split person that's a lot if one of them happens to be a serial killer. You should turn a blind eye to one's form. <laughs> She's so intense. Like they say, sound and murder is mind, sound and murder is body. This one is so different from the one we've come to know. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth lives a little lie. Behind every dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun! <laughs> um, Miss Jack, uh, uh, Jill, can I ask what's up? Some of us think you might be the mastermind behind our entire- Well, I'll tell you! I am the mastermind- Yes, Kitty! Then, it's not true? Of course it's not true! How dare you try to link me to that creepazoid? And another thing, the police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless! I mean, they just let this idiotic bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town! Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty maniac! But life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Just kidding again! <laughs> this should be enough to convince you. This murder- There's clearly a motive, so there's- A motive? Remember what Monokuma told us? If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or swell, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself. Interesting! But sorry! As much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the... But I cannot imagine. Anyway. Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth! Do you really expect any- Yeah! I could never believe a word you say, you month. to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking! When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. What more proof do we need? <laughs> Give it up. You killed her. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking! When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. No, it's wrong! The methods of murder really? I think there's a slight difference between the genocide. Uh oh, you don't know? Well then, human garbage! I murder with passion. 
passion and conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular... Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using ragu or Chef Boyardee. This is no create... Let me rephrase that. In a way that there are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases... Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. According to the case file, they were all But Chihiro died from a- Ah, yes! Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? And there's more. What- That's right! In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce! Could you please stop comparing killing people to cooking? So, are you saying the other different? I got it! Do you remember what the killer used to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up. What is your point? Well, in all the previous Genocide Jack Kate. Specifically, pairs of razor-sharp scissors. And guess what? I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangement. Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools I use. And, 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 and you know what else? Big Mac said there's two differences, but he... Big Mac? Are you... Listen up, Big Mac! There's... Huh? My word, you really didn't notice? Take a look at who the victims were in each genocide, Jack. There's a pattern there. Uh, I'll figure that out, and it'll be plain as death why I couldn't have possibly killed that little lolly girl. Girl. I know I can hold that. Girl. I got it! Is it because... Bingo, bullseye, right on the money! What are you talking about? In all the Genocide Jack cases... They were all... guys? That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! <laughs> I can't believe I said it! I'm so embarrassed! The hell is wrong with you? Just a full throttle boy on boy fangirl! And the mopey side of me just hates it! But now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full fledged fan madam! So, since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little man. Would an Italian chef suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. I have too much passion and conviction to cross that line! That's the absolute reality of the one and only! We get it. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy. It's a different matter entirely. When you're quiet, lowly car! Lowly her? I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere and if by some fluke I did kill. Why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect! That does make some amount of sense. Whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prize. Who would go out of their way to use a big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? Maybe you use the dumbbell because any scissors? I don't just use any scissors. I only use my own set of high class envy of the entire world scissors. Okay, whatever. You're still. Are you sure about? Da -da -da -da! <laughs> She's fully equipped! That's right! So I can kill anywhere, anytime! Why would I resort to dumbbells or rope when I have my trusty scissors by my side? Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong! You can't, can you? Gutter dogs, all of you! Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot! <laughs> so rope's probably out of the question anyway! <laughs> I like this one! <laughs> 
I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? But the body really was suspended, right? And nobody... Yeah! That's why we figured it had to be the real... Here's my answer! Byakuya, it's possible you could... You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you'd already looked through the Genocide Jack file before this all happened. Right, use? Then, the reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was because he wanted to pin the crime on her... So, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it! The adorable glasses! What? I see. So then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Hmm. The way you were acting right before we... You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girls' locker room. Nothing strange about that. On the contrary, there's... Okay, then. Go ahead. to check out the girls' locker room. <gasps> you absolutely take it! That's a natural reaction for any guy! The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So of course I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? You wish you'd taken me with you? You said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found the body. But he was acting weird... How? If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room... <gasps> you absolutely take it! That's a natural reaction for any guy! The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So of course I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? I don't know wish you'd taken me with you. So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird, but he was acting. If you're presented with the opportunity, that's unnatural! The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. No, that's wrong! I'll tell you what's so strange, because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because she... I see. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Huh? What's wrong? Is that it? Surely... What's the matter? You're not finished already, are you? 
there is. There is more to it. We just talked about the differences between this case. The proof you're looking for is... Oh, proof that I'm the... Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Shoot! What? The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill, I use my very own special scissors. I use those same scissors to arrange the body. But Chihiro was suspended with... It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. No, that's wrong! Actually, I'm pretty because you see that rope, that extension. What? Byakuya, you've used the extension cord in the library, and the same extension cord that was in the went missing after the murder. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord. Byakuya must be the one who took the. That's really what you think? Then your conclusion. I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody mess. I intentionally made it look like Jennifer. Is that about right? What's wrong? Hell yes, that's what happened. I don't disagree with not dis- He kept calling us a game, right? So he'd be told- Um, sorry, I- I think- Good. Do we really- I know. There's something that's still good that right. And what? I killed her in the girls' locker room. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it. What about all that? Kill Chihiro in the group. Are you sure about that? How disappointing. What kind of question is that? She was found dead in the girl's lock. How could the scene of the crime? Well, I think it's entirely along with the rest of the murder scene. The rest of the murder scene? That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have. I believe I. without permission? Come on, Makoto. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof.
I got it! The proof that she was killed somewhere else is... the poster that's hanging in each locker room. Your proof? Is some posters? The poster in the gr a picture of a big boob supermodel. But don't why would the girl's locker room have a I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! <laughs> Meanwhile, the boys lock a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. Again, that doesn't really So you're saying that maybe And there's one other thing I noticed. You know what I'm talking about. You're referring to my protein coffee. Protein? While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed. I got it! The stain on the girls' locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room. That's definitely the stain from my protein. Then, does that mean that the carpet... Why would you move the murder scene from one locker room to the other? It... What? In other words, in order to completely swap this, the blood-stained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but... Huh? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? Actually, an even bigger question. If the... Then how did Chihiro get in the boys' locker room in the first place? <sighs> to get into the locker rooms, we have to swipe at Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room. No, she did have a way! I highly doubt that. Shut up! I'm telling you! Is it really possible? Could Chikiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah! I got it! She must have packed her e-handbook! She was the ultimate programmer, after all. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Is it really possible? Could she or really? Ah, and she must have packed. She was the ultimate programmer, after all. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Is it really hard? Could she be more really hard? Ah, she must have packed. She was the ultimate. I'm sure that would have... Well, I don't... She used to think I was in the main hall. Huh? I'm talking about Leon's handbook. Of course. No, it's wrong. No, I don't think she... Why not? Because Leon's handbook was broken. Oh. Well, then... I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. Plus... Isn't there a regulation against- Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It said, in other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you- Yup, yup, yup! Get the nail square on it! Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked hers, like I said. Psst. You can't fix an e-handbook! The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring! So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't... Maybe Mr. Nayagi's initial assumption is... It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. Okay, then! I vote for... Hold on a sec. I agree with you, though. I think... What the... You finally decided there's no way she could get in the boys' locker. Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way- What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain- Why don't we take a little break from the trial?
I'd like you all to come- Wait, 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 wait! Don't worry. This'll make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please- Huh? It'll- Well, alright then! I de- <gasps> For now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be- Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. She must be a detective. Like a detective daughters or something. The girls locker room? We've already searched this place to- I'd like you to examine the victim's body. Be sure to examine the entire- Examine her- No way, no way, no way! It's probably best if- It's not that I'm creeped out or it- Very well. But, but you're a girl! You shouldn't- No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would- So just leave this- What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? That's not it at all! Okay, I'm sorry, Chihiro. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe- Her entire body? What? What is it? Not possible. This- Is what? Is a boy! Ah, I see. So, oh. she was actually a he. <laughs> You're joking, bro. I wouldn't joke about- Really? Jiro was a guy? Hmm? Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Jiro Fujisaki was. <laughs> he was a cross dresser? <laughs> so that's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now let's ride this wave of excitement. Whoa. <clears throat> I do a pot. We've all just learned of the shocking revelation that she. Yes, well. I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is. She. And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then. Of course, his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, there should be no issue. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room, and was then later moved to the girl. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. So, Chihiro? I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but... Yes, that does... Well, I must admit, I did find it rather... I knew he felt a little... off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This is the most titillating- So now everything has been connected. Okay, well, connected or clear or- <laughs> Very- ah. What about you, Makoto? After everything- Well, without a doubt, Byakui is the one that made Chihiro's death, but... I think he might not actually- What? But aren't you- He just seems to be too... easygoing about all this. Like he's enjoyed the way he's acting? It makes it seem- And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too... How can I put it? Overt. He consciously chose to use the extension cord. No, at least... And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was- If you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have- So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but- It's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct, for the time being. This boy, oh my lord. Mark it as- He's right. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room, and decided to- Are you fucking with us right- No, I am not effing with you right now. Well, I find it very hard- Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed a If you're really telling the truth, then... Why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? Well, I don't think that... You're seriously gonna keep going? 
We're all good. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, that's true. Damn straight. Can't do you not have a mind of your Of course I do. Anyway, let's discuss this all as a group one more time. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our... Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Shoot. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did well? Did nobody get- I'm sure if someone saw the killer- Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Yeah. All we need right now is- a It's over. It's so you want to know who saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. <laughs> no, it's wrong. I believe someone else did see the- Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto. The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is what- Whatever! Just hurry up! It was last night, right before night time. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag, and then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. A track jacket and a duffel bag? Seems likely that the culprit just And that is when he said something. Chihiro told me he was, but why would he be in a hurry? Only so Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out. But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely. He must have enough so that he was willing to risk his secret being. Oh, what a marvelous friend! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? But knowing what you know. No. You already have. Huh? You know who the killer Seriously? Who is it? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become. Are you sure? Of you really think we can figure out who did it, Be Boy, you want to track down- Even if we have the equipment for that. As was noted, the evidence is already- Maybe, but we can make certain inferences. If we- Easy for you to- But fine. Select- The bag was- Just all the bags in there are the same, so- Well, if I remember right, there was a decent- Do you think there might be some connection be- Perhaps. Let's ex- First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black. I... I don't even have a tracksuit. Cause exercising sucks! I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. 
Could any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? No way. Not a chance. You heard him, right? What he just said without even real- First of all, we know where Chihiro was heading. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! I... I don't even have a tracksuit! Cause exercising sucks! I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer? No way. Not a chance. You First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise, so next we have... Why did he choose the specific tracksuit? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! I... I don't even have a tracksuit! I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any close? No way. Not a chance. You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it? First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go ex- So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? No, oh. it's wrong! Hold on a second, Mondo. Huh? What? When Celeste testified a few minutes... She never said anything about the... So why did you say Chihiro's... What are you... You just... Hey, Celeste. What color was Chihiro? As a matter of fact... And before we began the trial... The only one I told about... Then... Mondo, how did you- oh, Because I- I- I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the- No, that can't- The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by- Then the only reason he could have known what color the trap is if he saw Cherry with it before he died! That's the- Cherry? So, how about it? Did you- Just by chance. I just- He walked past me. And he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly... Yeah. It would appear you dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff. Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why he said he knew he did it. To put them on edge. That's right. Mondo was my target all along. I had my- But why? That's a good question. There was a certain turning point that maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo. But you tend to refer to men and women different. You only call guys dude. For girls, and after he was killed, you happened to- Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Ma- Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! No. 
I'm not the f not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Yeah. Mondo, did you really? I... I didn't kill anyone! You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn... Yeah! You would never do something like... It's true. My reason... That was bad. Well, this does present us with a... <laughs> That's what my little ghost friend is tell... Oh, yeah. That reminds me. You fool me. Really? What? Actually, you know... I'm think Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? Uh, uh, um... Huh? What if it happens to be an e-handbook? I got it! We know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene for a fact. For a fact, I was totally... But it must hold some clue of... Well, that's what I was hoping. But yes, I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of- That's odd. I didn't think- You're right. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take a- And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is for all your confidence, that is a remark- <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in the- How precisely? I got it! You already told us before that the handbook has one- yeah! You remember the- uh, uh, sure, maybe I let that slip, but I- But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quicks- Then we can only assume that someone's- You know what the weakness is. Huh? I think it's a necessary piece of info- But if I tell you, and someone just- Tell us already! Why would we want to break our own- huh. Oh well. I have a weakness for pushing the men. Then allow me to make a special announcement. When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! I flippin' knew it! You knew it? Yeah, because I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get it. It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you definitely... That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure... Interesting. That is a mere trifling... Anyway... If you found then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to- Meaning the culprit somehow knew- But how'd they find out? Indeed. What if they found out by- What do you mean by- What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure- And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but- who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into- I might know someone who- Whoa! I think the one who may have taken their handbook- <laughs> Here's my answer! Mondo. Your handbook got bro- uh, What? Why? Why do you keep- Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his- And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook- uh, uh, No, wait, hold on! I don't accept this! Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! 
See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Let's test Makoto's assessment. If what he said you broke your own, in other words, if then that proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! No, it's wrong! Mondo, the handbook you have. The fuck is that supposed The broken handbook that was in the main isn't that one act. What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for. I think he took Leon's handbook and. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment is. So then, the broken. Which would mean that the handbook. But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says. Well. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but it's kind of a great area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more int- As such, I decree that exchanging handbook- Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong, I'm happy to admit I made a mistake. Son of a- What's wrong, bro? C come on! Tell him he's wrong! You are wrong! You have to- Everything you just said is- Okay. Then why don't we look back on this that way? Everything will become clear. And we'll all see if I was my brain is not okay. Oh my god.
killer is you! First, let's take a look. Last night, Celeste at the time, she was apparently... That something was a blue trap. With bag in hand, she made her way to the locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? in hand, Chihiro she made her way to the locker but how could the victim the killer is you with bag in hand she made her way to, but how could the victim? Simple, because she was really a, which is why he was able to use his own e-handbook to gain entrance. Once inside, he met with someone there. It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Chihiro, What happened? Oh my God. And attacked him. That's where the blood stains on the poster and carpet. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Which is why the killer then removing the blood And finally, care a girl's handbook was necessary, but this alone doesn't prove. After all, sight using one of those, a boy can. Using one of those, 
After all, using one of those. 